don't believe a word. Yeah. But I think a lot of people believe it, man. Oh, so 100%. The yeah. Ozil propaganda machine is a machine. Cause... Yeah, it goes hard. It goes hard. <laughs> right, I want to move on to Mustafi. Go on. I think this is the first time in five episodes we've mentioned Mustafi. I think oh, it says a lot, really. Shit. Um, all right, we don't want to become too reactionary. So, he said, within a, a longer Instagram post, unfortunately, we as a team haven't been able to assist you when you needed us the most, in reference to Ozil on his departure. Is he implying the team should have not stood for the perceived treatment of Ozil? And is that dissent towards Arteta? And if it's dissent towards Arteta, what should occur? I genuinely think that Arteta does not give a fuck. I'll be honest, because <laughs> Mustafi, 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 give a fuck. I don't even care about how to pronounce his, his fucking name. Right. No one gives a fuck about Mustafi. The only time people give a fuck about Mustafi's opinion is when he's in the Arsenal team, because we want him out of the fucking team. He is a shit defender. He always will be. He was shit at Everton. He was okay at Valencia. He won the World Cup with Germany, and he's going to bang on his drum about it for the rest of his life. I would. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fair play. But, I mean, I could have been... I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I could have been a centre-back at Germany and won the World Cup. <laughs> At five foot fucking eight, as you said earlier. <laughs> right. Mustafi <laughs> is trash. He's garbage. I would pay for him to leave the club. And if he wasn't leaving for free, I would happily donate all of Ozil's remaining wages to Mustafi <laughs> to leave the club. He He's going to stick up for his mate because, you know, they're both leaving. And, you know, if that's truly how he feels, fair play for sticking up to his mate. But we're his current employees... Mustafi, I hope he doesn't play another game. I mean, not because of what he said, but because he's so shit. Um, and, you know, who cares? Like, do, you, do, you know, do you know what I mean, though? Like, I mean, I, I probably think... sw- swore a few more times. I seem to care a, a, a little bit, actually, because I, I got a bit of reactionary from that. But I, I don't really care, Mustafi. Go play for Scumfort. Do you know what I mean? That's your level. <laughs> No, it's below, it's below that, let's be honest. Right, so what I want to say is, if this is dissent, no matter who you are, if you really want to be a coach that people respect and don't uh, act out in front of, he can't play another game for Arsenal. If it's not, and he's just saying that, you know, the teammates could have done more for him in his, in his hardship, then okay, if that's what you meant. But, but if that is... Talk, and if, he, if it's just talking about the upper management rather than Arteta, then I guess he gets away with it. But if I'm the manager and you say something like that, and I know that you're on your way around and you're like a fourth, fifth choice anyway, you're, you can train with the under 23s. Not because I want to exactly. be a dick, but because that is just bad culture. And it's like if we tr- if this is a project and this is a rebuild, you can, even if he was a starter, I think you can actually say, in favour, we're not going to get in top four anyway. In favour of a building in the next season and good culture and gelling together and being a team that would die for each other, you can't have anything like that. No. And he, that is toxic. That is toxic behaviour. We like, and he's only talking about. Okay, so he says, unfortunately, we as a team haven't been able to assist you. But that is saying, it's a clever does, way I mean, of putting he, you weren't treated fairly. He does, yeah. I mean, reading it back, he does. Include at least he does include himself. He doesn't say you know Arsenal didn't yeah. treat you like he just he does include himself. So in hindsight, it might be more difficult to know what he's actually getting. It at. sounds like he's it's trying to be message. more strong than he's been allowed to, and he's he, playing it somewhat politically. He knows what he's doing. But if you have way. those views, you're not good for the culture. He, yeah, he knows what he's doing, and he's only doing it because he knows that this is the. He knows no one wants to buy him, and this is his last. His <laughs> he's last. going to Barcelona. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. I mean, Barcelona getting bankrupt, to be honest. So, I mean, they need as many free transfers as they can. Um, but you know, no one's going to buy him. He's going to go on a free transfer. He, I think he's he's probably got. You know, where I'm saying I don't care about Mustafi, and Mustafi's probably got to the point where he doesn't give a shit about Arsenal anymore. Do you know what I mean? It goes two ways. The only He's probably only happy they pay his wages at the end of the day. He's probably, I'd be he very care. happy if I got 90 grand a yeah. week. Um, but yeah, let's move on from the clown. So, with Ozil's departure, 